Don't touch that remote. Culinary Quick Tips is up next. Hi, welcome to Culinary Quick Tips. I'm Chef Alan Scheidhauer with Greenville Technical College. Today's quick tip is going to be how to make a paper cornet. This particular technique is something that we teach in our bake shop production class within our baking and pastry program. It's a pretty simple technique. First, we have to start out with a piece of parchment paper. Uh, I like to use a slicer knife, which is a straight edge knife, uh, something without any teeth on it so it doesn't tear the paper. Some people like to use scissors, but I find this to be the easiest way to go. First of all, I want to go ahead and take the paper and I'm going to cut it into half. Each sheet of parchment paper will get four pa paper pastry bags out of it. So we're going to go ahead and take it, put a good seam to it, make sure this crease is really tight, okay, so that we get a good clean cut. Then we go ahead and take the knife and slice it through it. All right, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and fold the bag over, okay? We have half a bag. We're going to fold it over on an angle like this so that we can see a wide portion here and basically a wide portion here so this way we can squeak four bags out of one sheet. Some people will only get two, but I prefer to use for smaller piping this size. Now, once we've got that same crease like we did before, this is a critical point here as far as the, the, the crease, because this is where our tip is going to be actually formed in a bag. So any mistake that we make in cutting, we don't want it to be right here. And of course, that may happen to me anyhow, but that's okay. We'll just cut another one. Here we go. There we go. Voila. Once we've made the cuts, we're going to go ahead and take the pastry bag and hold it up. We have a straight edge on one side and a point on the other side. We're going to take our hand and wrap it around our hand. Our whole goal here is to go ahead and pull the cone back, wrap it around, and make the paper cornet. Once we do that, we get it nice and tight on the bottom, and we want that tip to be as fine as possible. We can always trim it off with a pair of scissors later. We roll it down on the inside, and the bag is ready to fill. Now, when you're filling it with chocolate, uh, you want to go ahead and fold this tip up and you can pour your chocolate down inside. But what I'm going to do today is just fill it with a little bit of buttercream. When you fill it with buttercream, I find it a lot easier to squeeze it with a bag rather than to take a palette knife. Of course, this isn't a palette knife, but to take a knife and go ahead and fill it with a palette knife. You take the pastry bag, you just squeeze it down inside. Again, never want to overfill a pastry bag. This one here, we fold in to the center and then roll it down and we have the paper cornet that's filled and ready to go. That's your tip for today. I'm Chef Alan Scheidhauer. Give me a call if you have any questions about our program at 250-8303 or check us out online at greenbilletech.com. Thank you and have a great day.